Good afternoon. Our first item of business today is Time for Reflection, and our Time for Reflection leaders are Megan Quinn and Rhys Lambert, pupils at St Columbus High School in Gurukh and ambassadors to the Anne Frank Trust UK. Presiding officer, members of the Scottish Parliament, thank you for the opportunity to address you today. Anne Frank is a name which I am sure we are all familiar with. Today, on what would have been her 89th birthday, we celebrate Anne Frank Day. Anne Frank was a young German-Jewish refugee who hid from the Nazis during World War II. Anne's life was tragically cut short at the age of 15 in March 1945, when she died of typhus in Bergen-Belsen concentration camp. Anne documented her time in hiding in the form of a diary, which was published by her father Otto to share her story. It has been read by millions across the globe including many of us here today. This, in turn, inspired a group of people to found the Anne Frank Trust UK. We at St Columbus High School applied and were selected to work with the Anne Frank Trust to be peer guides, then as Anne Frank ambassadors. Throughout this process, we have shared not only Anne's story, but the importance of challenging hate and prejudice within our school and with the wider community. This has been an invaluable experience not only have I learned more about Anne's story, but I have become more aware of discrimination in society and now feel more confident in using my voice to challenge prejudice and hate. In today's society, young people face many forms of discrimination and cyberbullying. It's important to challenge and shout down hate and strive for a peaceful and more equal society. Children are the future, which is why we need more young voices to speak up so they can grow up in a more open-minded and more tolerant world. We read Anne's story and are shocked at the level of discrimination a 13-year-old girl had to face, yet we forget this still happens today. I want to live in a world where people don't have to be afraid of speaking up, where people aren't judged by race or religion, and where we show compassion instead of hatred. We invite you to not only reflect on Anne's story, on the dangers and harm that can be caused by prejudice going unchallenged. We leave you with Anne's words. How wonderful is it that nobody need wait a single moment before beginning to improve the world? <laughs> 